So, David Tennant wore a t-shirt and people got mad. That's that's the headline, folks. So I got a comment on one of my recent videos saying, what is your opinion on the recent David Tennant drama? And I was like, oh, what's what's the David Tennant drama? What, what's, what's happened? Has he said something against Doctor Who? Does he not like his sonic screwdriver? Does he not like Russell T Davis? What's happening? And so a few days later, I've found that the controversy they were referring to is the fact that David Tennant wore this t-shirt here. And oh boy, what does it say on the t-shirt, you wonder? It says, leave trans kids alone, you absolute freaks. That's what classifies as drama these days. That this is, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely crazy. I was honestly considering not making this video because, you know, like it will attract all kinds of horrible people, no doubt, that are, you know, very anti-trans. These things that I'm really going to talk about on the channel very much. So I just, I would really, this is a safe space. What I've tried to do with Crispy Pro, it's a very safe space. So anyway, let's, let's just talk about this ridiculous stuff that they're saying that this is drama because it's not. So yeah, David and Georgia Tennant, they have a child who identifies as non-binary. You know, that's that's not a new thing. Um, and they seem like insanely good parents to have. I always joke on this channel about David Tennant being my dad. Cause David Tennant, yeah, he is my freaking dad. But if he actually was my dad, he'd be an insane dad. He'd be like the, the greatest dad to ever have. And Georgia would be a great mom to have. And they seem like excellent parents. Not only excellent parents, but incredibly supportive. And that's what you need, uh, you know, as, for a stable family. So yeah, this person who I, I don't know, they, they do ASMR, so they must be, you know, legit. They tweeted this picture out saying, you know, FFS, and it's David Tennant wearing this screenshot. And, you know, they posted it to the safest, you know, non-anti-trans place they could, Twitter. And the responses to this is so gross and really made me lose faith in humanity once again. Okay, so what they've done here is they have, you know, tagged David Tennant. It's not, a, David Tennant doesn't have Twitter, so this is a fan account anyway. So good good stuff and they've they've given it a thumbs down. But then they also had the audacity to tag Georgia Tennant and I think, I think that's vile. I think you should, like, it, these people are real. These are real people. And I don't think you should bother them with your incredibly outdated views of the world. And then they say, Georgia Tennant, do you think your very young child's made up identity crisis will kickstart the acting career? Better than simply having two acting parents to line it up for them? Isn't the kid 10? My youngest is 11 and doesn't know what non-binary means. Why does your child have this knowledge? Oh my God. <laughs> I really feel sorry for your child having to deal with with you. You must have nothing better going on in your life than to bother Georgia Tennant. Georgia's like pretty active on Twitter, so I have no doubt that she's probably seen this. But I really think and I hope that she'll be unbothered by this stuff because no doubt, you know, being on Twitter, she sees it a lot. But as I said before, David and Georgia seem like in incredibly good parents and they're always wearing, you know, like uh, pro, pro trans pins. Like there was a really cool um, TARDIS one that they were wearing all the time. But David going from a pro trans pin to a t-shirt, that's just too much. And that qualifies as drama. One of the other replies, unfortunately his job depends on him declaring himself an ally. You call it cowardly, but he has to make a living. No, I don't I don't think that um, you know his his pro-ally views were based purely on monetary and career-wise. I think it might be, you know, support for his children, but I don't know. I've never met the man. I can't speak for him, but I got a hunch that's the case. Sorry, I'm being a bit sassy today because, you know, this is this is something I, I feel strongly towards. You know, I have friends in this community that identify as trans and, you know, Doctor Who, like this is this is kind of outside Doctor Who, you know, David Tennant is the Doctor currently, but this is like a much bigger issue. But, you know, with this channel and everything, Doctor Who is all about uh, acceptance and, and change and all that. Doctor Who is and should be, you know, a, pl a place of acceptance where people from all walks of life can and feel safe. And even now with Russell T. Davis back at the helm, we've seen a lot of progress in, you know, uh, you know, so the series 14 cast list seems so diverse and so wonderful. And, you know, I, I don't know, the conversation just needs to be changed because this is ridiculous what I'm reading now. But yeah, in the most roundabout way, like th the shirt says it all. If you got a problem, just just leave them alone. I mean, honestly, I can't imagine being on, on this app and reading this kind of nonsense. I mean, even doing a quick Google search, like so this is a trigger warning warning here, but data indicated that 82% of transgender individuals have considered killing themselves and 40% have attempted suicide, especially amongst transgender youth. Having these people that just love stirring the pot 
and, you know, for some reason can be verified on Twitter. Like, they shouldn't be verified. They should be off the app. Like, this is, oh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. That's what it is. Sorry, I really did go into this video thinking I could keep it upbeat. But, like, as I said, it is something I'm passionate towards. And, you know, it's 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 not, the you know, the most fun topic people bashing on trans kids. But anyway, doing research for this video, I also found another banging tweet from Ollie London. I don't know who this person is, but they have a lot of followers. And I think they're quite controversial. I don't know. I don't really want to know more about them. But get a load of this. Doctor Who comes out as transracial. The TV character who has been Caucasian since 1963 had suddenly morphed and changed race. The new series will also feature trans activists as one of the leading ladies. In, in quotation marks. Trans activist Yasmin Finney recently spoke at London Pride dressed in just a thong and a see-through dress demanding protect trans kids. Yeah, wow, I can't imagine there being any wacky costumes at a Pride. Jeez Louise. So yeah, not only are there people that are anti-trans, we can just have a, a hint of racism too. I mean, yeah, in the main line, like our doctors so far uh, have, have all been have all been white. You know, Jodie was the, the first female doctor and now we have uh, Shooty as the first black male to betray the doctor. But even if you do a quick Google search, you know, there being a black Time Lord isn't a, a new thing. I mean, look at this. It, it dates all the way back to 1974. But yeah, this is an excellent post that kind of shows the pretense for Time Lords not just having to be white. I mean, look at it. it. It goes on forever. So I don't think the narrative that, oh, you know, Doctor Who's woke now because because, you know, Shooty's black. No, uh, that's that's ridiculous. There is a pretense that the character in the show could one day be black and now it's arrived. Should it have been sooner? Maybe, I don't know, I don't make the call. All I know is that I'm really excited for this era and to see what Shooty brings to the table. That's what's on my mind, not race. So yeah, after this, I've just got a lot of people to block, basically. That's the easiest thing you can do. If, if, you, if there's someone with like really outdated views and stuff that you don't agree with, just get rid of them. But on a lighter note, this is very much like a vocal minority, like a, a large part and a huge part of my Doctor Who journey like online has been 99.9% .9 positive. There are just those teeny tiny one percenters that will try and ruin everyone's day. Maybe this vocal minority, you know, could, you know, think about how they use gendered language or, you know, speak out in support of transgender people and transgender rights maybe once in their life. But anyway, please leave your thoughts in the comments below around this David Tennant drama and try and be respectful. You're allowed to have different views, but we're not, we're not a place of hate, all right? Just keep it respectful. It's a discussion, okay? Next week will be something more fun, I promise, um, but in the meantime, please like this video please subscribe if you've not already and in the word of David Tennant who is an absolute legend Alonzi